Hi guys, my name is Andre and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a VHS effect on Sony Vegas. So for this tutorial I'm going to be using Sony Vegas Pro 13 because it has some of the plugins that I'm going to need on this tutorial. So let me just open a test footage. Um, here. Of course, shouldn't, you shouldn't be doing this with a 720p footage, but just for the heck of it, I'm going to do it. Let me just disable the resampling, something you should do first. Alright, my computer is not gonna cooperate with me on this tutorial. Oh, actually it is. Alright, thanks. Okay, the audio of the camera is horrible, totally. But what really matters to you, to us is the footage itself, alright? So I'm gonna put this into a lower layer <laughs> and delete this one. So the first thing we need to do is that normal effect, that noise effect that the VHS has. So I gotta go here on media generators, solid, solid color and add a a pure green color right here. So I'm gonna make a chroma key on it. Oh, I just totally forgot about this. Do not use the green screen, instead use the blue screen. Because that way you don't have too much color loss. I don't know why, but that really happens. Alright, so let's go here on Sony Chroma Key here. Add and this is not the right color so you go right here and select pure blue screen there you go perfectly you cannot even notice that there is a chroma key on the upper layer so we're going to add the effect itself so we're gonna add noise put it before the chroma key and you can already see some effect so it's not monochromatic because we need the 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 noise to be colored and Gaussian mode, ga Gaussian noise. Sometimes it can glitch, but sometimes it's gonna act normally. It, it actually glitched, but glitched, but I can I can I can reason with that. So I will just continue the tutorial. So then I'm going to add a median which is gonna blur this thing up and make it look more like a VHS and I just adjust the noise for my needs I'm just gonna select the whole footage and set it to repeat because I want to see constantly how is the footage looking like so I can adjust these two filters and one of the main parts is going to be ready It doesn't kind of look like a VHS right now, just adding this noise right on top of it. But it already began to do it. So I'm going to stop this, and we're now going to work on the video itself. So the first thing you need to do is add a TV damage. So we're going to disable the radio interference. And vertical hold and horizontal hold we're gonna disable fignet and the only thing I really need I really want is this one so it's the electrical interference so it kinda looks like the the VHS tape is damaged in some part I like to put it right here but at the bottom where normally you found these things like that. So now we need to use the Sony TV simulator. Of course, this hit film plugins are not present on Sony Vegas 11. So if you if you are using Sony Vegas 11, you won't you won't be able to do this tutorial. So go ahead and crack a a version of Sony Vegas, which is the one that I'm using right here, Sony Vegas Pro 13. 
Now this one actually we have on, on Sony Vegas 11 but only that one will not actually help. So we're gonna set it interlacing, scan phasing, all everything you is gonna disable everything. And right here you wanna do it just a little bit. Alright, <laughs> my computer is not collaborating. Alright. But this is going to make the image not stable. Alright, it's gonna wobble vertically that's a pretty important effect now let's add a mirroring which we know it always have so that should be we're gonna just uh, readjust this like that now I'm just gonna position the mirror like that looks nice Actually, I could actually put this in front. Okay, now something you actually noticed is that we have a color explode when you record something on a VHS tape. So we're going to oversaturate the video. So every color is much. Um, is much stronger and the image is quite sharp so we're going we're um, just gonna go ahead and add some Gaussian blur if I can find it here Gaussian blur this is this needs to be heavily adjusted just a little little bit and it's already great to continue it's gonna look a little bit blurry no, he has a looks a lot a lot blurry. Uh, it's, this is not for making the image too much blurred, like out of focus. This is just for blurring the image. Now you guys know that the VHS has a little bit of ghosting on the image. So for that I'm gonna use Sony Light Rays. I'm gonna put the thing right here. And I'm gonna just just And you can kinda see that it creates the ghostly effect that a VHS tape has. Not in this video because my computer can't render it properly or real time, but I'm gonna skip frame by frame. And this needs to be applied before the TV simulation because you can kind of see how awful it looks like. So I'm gonna put it here behind those things, and even under the mirror, so it doesn't affect the noise. Of course, uh, not none of these effects that I'm playing here are going to to affect the noise because the noise is a whole separated stuff right here so I'm gonna do a little render of this footage and uh, add some other stuff on it I created a start so I'm gonna go ahead and show you the start that I created where is it actually created one uh, VHS start right here. I created this footage, which is perfect. So you're gonna select everything on here. This is slide, slide that a little bit, and import some stuff. I'm gonna import that VHS start stuff. Synchronize these two things. Kind of like that. So I'm going to render this scene and I'm going to show you the final result.